Good afternoon. We done already had. We already had some church. We'd already had some church. Mm -hmm. I thought we was recording since we were doing um, video and the Facebook police and the YouTube police weren't gonna cut us off. But anyway, we had we had some good praise. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, what had happened was. Um, what you do? Did you not eat? Huh? Uh. 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 This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord made. <laughs> oh, praise God for this wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to uh, read our opening scripture. Very short, just three verses. And it comes from Psalm 133. I'm going to read it in its entirety. And so glad to see everybody here today. Amen. Amen. And the words are, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren and sisters to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life, Forevermore. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I love that. And I just got a picture of Moses standing up there on the mount when God walked by, put his hand over Moses' face, and walked by him and just and gave his full. I won't say government name, but a heaven's authority name. And as he walked by, Moses saw the back of God. Mm. And the only thing I figured that he saw was a picture of thorn prints that would be on Jesus' head where a spear would come out of Jesus' side. And as God walked by and took his hand down and saw what would be a nail print woo, in his hand and as, as his feet moved, nail print in his feet. Mm. And Moses, when he came down for the mountain, had to have a veil over his face because the people couldn't stand to look at him who saw the back of God. Oh, to me, that's what worship is supposed to be. Oh. And I'm so glad to welcome my beloved sister. Amen. <laughs> And also my sister in Christ, who's going to bring a word for us this afternoon. I'm excited, and I'm excited that all of you are here to hear what God has given her. I just feel we're all going to be blessed. I just feel the anointing of God here. Yeah. Uh, the shoes come off, it's going down. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, 
I'm not going to share anymore. We've already sung. I've about sung out. So I'm going to turn it over to my dear sister and my sister in Christ. I told her one time she digs wells. I got to tell you this little story. You know, she'd been having water pressure trouble up on Swan Mountain where she lives. She lives at the very top of the hill. Hers is the last house at the top of her street. And she was having water pressure problems. And she had been telling the folks, the problem is right down there. And nobody listened to her. She said, the problem is down there. Hmm? It was at the curb stop. It was at the curb stop. And she was telling them, that's where the problem is. Nobody listened to her. And this went on for a long time. And then finally, they kept doing this and doing that, doing this and doing that. And when they finally went and did what they needed to do at the curb stop, not only did her water pressure improve, water pressure all down the hill below her improved. Lady went in the shower. She was telling me the other day, lady went in the shower. She thought the shower was going to take all the skin off her body. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I told my sister when we were talking one day, and I said, you know, I said, when you preach, I said, you dig wells. I said, just like you told those men, uh, dig right there. I says, and when you go into the Word, you dig. Mm -hmm. I said, and you dig deep. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, when we're talking, she said, really? I said, no. I said, you do. And I prayed seven years for her to get saved. Mm -hmm. I even made some anointed paella. Mm -hmm. I had run out of olive oil. It's, I wrote about it in my book. I ran out of olive oil. <laughs> And the only thing I had was some Pompeii and olive oil, olive oil that I use when I go out to pray for folk. You got it from the inside out. <laughs> so, desperate time calls for death, desperate measures. And so I took that olive oil and I put it in the, put it in and cook with it. And I didn't say anything. And I said, when she came by, I didn't say anything until after, after we ate. She said, oh, this was good. I said, I ran out of olive oil, so the only thing I had was the Pompeian oil that I use when I'm praying for folk. She said, you used anointing oil? I said, it was safe. I said, it was Pompeian oil that I just prayed over that when I go pray for folks, well, wasn't long after that, she got <laughs> saved and she Amen. got filled with the Holy <laughs> Ghost. And in my bag, I still have the same bottle of that oil, I just keep refilling it. I just keep refilling it. They don't make glass Pompeian bottles. I still got that bottle in my bag right now, that same bottle that I use. Pastor, that's a sermon. Huh? That's a sermon. Oh, yeah. Mm. There it is. I still got that same bottle. You just keep I just keep refilling it. Mm -hmm. There's one filling, and uh, oh, mm -hmm. hey, hey, and many refillings. Oh, it's your sister's turn to preach. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let that go because I know she's the one who got to preach, not me. Oh, but I'm gonna put that one. I'm gonna put that one in the deep freezer right there. Yeah, let that marinate. Put a bookmark on that. Yeah, one. but if y'all hear that, again, if y'all hear that again. So I'm going to turn things over to my sister. But when, oh, but when she got saved and filled, if there's such a thing as a Holy Ghost monster, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. oops, there she is. There she is. Not only did I pray for her to get saved, not only did she get filled with the Holy Ghost, I also had the distinct privilege Of preaching her ordination mm -hmm. sermon. Amen. Amen. 
So I'm going to turn it over to the Reverend Cynthia Marlene Jackson Swan. Yeah, I need your full government name and your Holy Ghost title. Yeah. Casey, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you do me live on my page, please? I normally have a stand, but I don't think it's going to work. Huh. You don't think it's going to work? No, I have nowhere to set it. Hey, you right here. It'll be in front of, won't that bother? Oh, we can set it over here on the side. Okay. I want to share the church page. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can share this church page to your page. Oh, I just bring it up because everybody can't get your page. Mm -hmm. Oh, just move yeah. it over and set it down. You slide it over and set it right there. Technology is not one of um, my favorite things. I'm still in the five and a quarter floppy disk. So. Mm -hmm. It's there now. Mm -hmm. And it just have to push it. everybody. Um, and I thank God for um, my brother's invitation um, to come today. He caught me off guard. I was at work and he called and um, he said, would, would you come Sunday because the preacher got sick? And I said, sure. Mm -hmm. And then after I did that, I'm going, what did you just do? <laughs> he wants you to come down on Sunday and it is Friday. So anyway, um, I'm here and so let me get the, the, the formality and all that stuff out first. Mm -hmm. To the pastors, officers, and members of Day of Pentecost Full Gospel Church, I say good evening and I thank you for the invitation. And I bring you greetings from the Mount Bethel Baptist Church, located at 303 Trenton Avenue in Trafford, PA, where we have just been um, blessed with a pastor, and that is Pastor-elect Yvonne C. Walker. And so at some point, she will be um, formally installed, um, and uh, it's... A great occasion. She's a daughter of the church. She grew up in the church. She grew up in the city. Um, and she has a real passion for the city and um, for the people of God. And I also um, acknowledge um, Apostle Anna Baldwin from Building Temples Outreach Ministry in Youngstown, Ohio. And I fellowship with them um, somewhat regularly on Saturdays, and in fact, the title of the sermon uh, comes from one of the workshops that she did, and that is called uh, Being Whole is Necessary. Being made whole is necessary. But first, let me pray, and um, then we'll 
we'll get started. Father God, I thank you for this time today. I thank you for the time that you've allowed me to study. I thank you for taking away the hesitation. I thank you for just showing me who I am in you. And I bless your name and give you all glory, honor, and praise. Now, God, I thank you for making the word easy for your people to understand. Soft enough so your people will hear, but hard enough so your people will make a stand. Yes. So in Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. 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 And I'm going to do just a little bit of this song because it was in my spirit, and I was singing it around the house, and I don't know if you heard me, but um, I was singing it around the house while he was there with me on um, Thanksgiving. And it just says, I know the Lord yeah. will make a way. Oh, yes, he will. I know the Lord will make a way. Oh, yes, he will. opens doors that we cannot see. I know the Lord will make a way. Oh, yes, he will. I know the Lord verses 11 through 19. I'll be reading through the King James, reading from the King James Version. And it starts off saying, And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers which stood afar off and they lifted up their voices and said Jesus master have mercy on us and when he saw them he said unto them go and show yourselves unto the priest and it came to pass that as they went they were cleansed and one of them when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God. Yes. And he fell down on his face, fell down on his face at Jesus' feet, mm -hmm. 
giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answering saying, said, Were thou not ten cleansed, but are, where are the nine? Mm -hmm. There are not found that they, there are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. Verse 19 says, and he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Mm -hmm. Amen. And yes, Amen. Tammy, I'm getting ready to take off my shoes. Go ahead, girl. I'm ready. Yeah. Go ahead. I knew it was coming. Let me get kind of ready to take off. Be a ride. Yeah. But I just want to talk to you a little bit about being made whole and how it is totally necessary for us to be made whole. But I'm going to give you a little background first. And that is that Jesus had to go to Samaria. And Jesus and the Jews, they weren't supposed to kind of co-mingle. Mm -hmm. And the one reason in my research I found out that the Samaritans built their temple on Mount Gerizim. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how you say it. Uh -huh. And the Jews built their temple on Mount Sinai. Uh -huh. And so there was a little disconnect between the two of them. Uh -huh. And so Jesus, in another chapter, it says that he must need to go through Samaria. So he had business to do in Samaria. And so Jesus went into Samaria and came up against these ten lepers. Mm -hmm. And they had to stand afar off. Because when you had leprosy, you were considered, mm -hmm. you were unclean. Yeah. You could not mingle with everybody else. That's right. And some of us in our lives... Oh, ooh, oh here, we go. Go here we go. Here we go. Right. Well right. being done. Well being yeah. Seven, Some of us in our lives have been unclean. Yeah. And have had to stand away yeah. from everybody else. Yeah. Wanting to be with everybody else, but mm -hmm. unclean. Mm -hmm. Unclean. Mm -hmm. And it didn't necessarily have to be the fact that we were unclean. It could have been just the fact that the person or people thought we were unclean. Yeah. Ooh, How many of us have felt that we were not worthy All right. to All be right. in a group of people? <laughs> you felt you weren't worthy, so you kind of stayed off to the side. You kind of felt that there was nothing worth anything in you. I can say that because I know it because I've been there. Woo! Amen. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah. But they stood afar off because they were unclean. And they recognized Jesus because they said, Master, uh -huh. which means teacher. Mm -hmm. So even though the Sumerians had their temple on Mount Gergesim, or how do you pronounce it, and the Jews had theirs on Mount Sinai, they still recognized the fact that Jesus was a teacher. Uh -huh. Amen? All right. Amen. So sometimes we are in places and... We think that we're nothing, mm -hmm. but we do recognize that the hymn says something within me. Some, oh, yeah, Dad used to sing that. Yes. I have to get something to put in my mouth because medications nowadays make, make your mouth dry. Make your mouth dry. Um, I will get you. I will get you. <laughs> Tick, tick, oh. Yeah. And just not choke on it. That's right. But they said to Jesus, have mercy on us. Mm -hmm. And when they said have mercy, that was divine grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was grace straight from the throne room of heaven. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And he told them, go 
and show yourselves to the priest. Mm -hmm. And so I said it was divine favor because nothing, he never touched them. He never did anything to them with his hands. He just spoke the word and said, go now and show yourselves to the priest, yes. which was necessary because the priest had to validate that they were now clean. That's right. And so he never touched them. He just said, go and show the priests yeah. that you are clean. And that comes from with Miriam when she had a little disagreement with her brother Moses and God got upset and, and, and she was struck with leprosy and so uh, Moses had to go and pray for his sisters. You know, God please, you know, she didn't really mean to do what she did. This is, this is in my little interpretation. Yeah. But he said, Jesus, she didn't, she, God, she didn't really mean to do what she did, but she did it anyhow. So, yeah. you know, don't, 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 don't yeah. make it stay on yeah. it. Just, yeah. you know, give her a couple of days. Yeah. Make her stand in the corner a couple yeah. of days. Yeah. She'll be all right. Just give her a little time out. Give her a little time out. <laughs> and so, in that, and you can find that and read it in the King James Version. That was my interpretation, but it's in Numbers 12, Numbers chapter 12. 10 through 15 mm -hmm. but she had leprosy and and because she she disagreed and leprosy back then was considered a sin uh -huh. you had sin mm -hmm. some kind of way mm -hmm. some of us have felt like we have sinned mm -hmm. but we haven't really sinned mm -hmm. It's just the persons or people that are around us are telling us mm -hmm. or telling us what they perceive is mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. Go ahead. within yes. us. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. The reason you're not um, uh, singing in the choir is because um, you don't have good vocal uh, talent. Mm -hmm. But somewhere mm -hmm. I heard that the scripture says, Make a joyful noise mm -hmm. unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make any difference whether I can sing uh, real good or I can sing real bad. It's mm -hmm. just I'm supposed to be there making a joyful mm -hmm. noise. So mm -hmm. you can't really separate me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it was a ritual to go before the priest to show mm -hmm. that you were clean. Mm -hmm. Now, leprosy made you desensitized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Made you desensitized to touch. Yeah. It messed up your nerve ending so mm -hmm. you couldn't feel pain, mm -hmm. you couldn't feel heat, mm -hmm. you couldn't feel anything. Yeah. yeah. And so when we are in sin sometimes and we've been there for been hanging around sin for a long time, we become desensitized. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We become desensitized. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Because the longer that you're in sin, Woo. the longer mm -hmm. you become desensitized. Right. Yeah. And then the righteous part of you mm, begins to fall off. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. The righteous part of you begins to fall off. Mm -hmm. And so we have to maintain a position of faith. Mm -hmm. We have to always be ready mm -hmm. and looking for Jesus to come by mm -hmm. and heal us. Mm -hmm. We might be saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, but there are times when we need to be healed from some things. Oh, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to be healed from some past hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to be healed from some, some past words. And mm -hmm. we need to be healed of rejection. And mm -hmm. uh, we need to be healed of things that are in our past that still creep up in our future. Yeah. Which keeps us from doing what we're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we ought to always be ready to look to be made whole. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might limp along for a long time. Yeah, yeah. But as long as you have faith and know that God is able, yeah, he'll yeah. bring you out. Mm -hmm. and how do I know? Because mm -hmm. he brought me out. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, I'd be one of the ten that would come back and say, 
Thank you, Master, mm -hmm. for making me whole again. Mm -hmm. I was outside and couldn't fellowship with anybody, wouldn't anybody fellowship with me. Mm -hmm. But God, I thank you mm -hmm. for making me whole again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to just go and do that. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we make ourselves feel mm -hmm. unworthy. Mm -hmm. ourselves feel unworthy. Yeah. Because we don't sing like the angels and we don't expound on the scriptures like the most well-known sermon orator or yeah. we don't know scripture backwards and forward. We haven't memorized scripture and I can tell you one thing right now. I can tell you that it's in here and I can paraphrase it to you but I do not and have, have a hard time with memorizing scripture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah. That's me. Uh -huh. And because I couldn't memorize scripture, I thought that I was less than. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The classic ones I can tell you, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's the 23rd Psalm. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that um, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Yeah. I knew some of the, as they used to say, the station and the name or yeah. you know you had to know the two things yeah. i was only going to know one or the other but because i could not remember i felt that i was less than mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. so i wouldn't be one to want to stand up and say very much because i was like oh, I, don't, I don't know and i can't i can't call out first <laughs> timothy four and, mm -hmm. and whatever and mm -hmm. I, I know what it says but i can't call it out mm -hmm. But that meant, didn't make me any less mm -hmm. than anybody else. Because yeah. God knows who I am. He knows who you are. Mm -hmm. He knows what you can do and what you can't do. Mm -hmm. And at the appropriate time, he will give you a little boost mm -hmm. and allow you to do some of the things that you didn't think that you could do. Amen. Yeah. So we always have to be in a mind of looking for God to do something new. Looking for God to turn that thing around. Yeah. Looking for God to make you whole. Mm -hmm. Looking for God to take you from here yeah. to there. Yeah. Yeah. God waiting for God to make you feel like you have come up and you have gone over. I can That's tell right. you Amen. now Amen. that God has done it. Yeah. God has done it. He's done it for me and he will do it for you. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is speak to the mountain and it will move. Yeah. Yeah. Speak to okay. the mountain okay. and it will move. Woo. You have to believe in your heart mm -hmm. that God can do it. Yeah. When we were studying in uh, the, the, the group in Youngstown, being made whole is necessary. I have adopted a fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that fear is the fear of driving, mm -hmm. especially at, at night. night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I'm 69, I feel that I don't see as well as I want to see. So mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to drive at night and mm -hmm. I've become fearful. But the Lord changed that. Mm -hmm. Oh, amen. He told me, we've been also teaching on spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. And he told me, how can you teach people about spiritual warfare when you still have fear mm -hmm. in you? Ooh. 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 Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, <laughs> after I got my new glasses, Ooh. I'm not afraid anymore. Mm -hmm. oh. Woo. Not afraid anymore. Because I know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I don't know the station, but I know it's there. You know it's there. Yeah, I know it's there. You know how to find Hey, I know he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when I'm driving, came down here, had a nice little time, cruised on, and just 
you know, yeah, me and God, we were singing, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I got this God. We got this God. We got this God. Because the things that I have to do from henceforth in ministry will cause or have to do with me traveling Ooh, by there you go, girl. car. Yeah. Yeah. Traveling oh. on the road. Yeah. And so yes, I cannot have a spirit of fear yeah. about driving. Yeah. And the next thing, ooh, I'm ooh, sorry. Go ahead, the go next on. thing that God has got me, he's working on me, is the fear of flying. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Start to get ready to get my passport. Yep. Oh, say. That's confirming that prophecy. Who? Mm -hmm. Told me I have nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I can't be fearful if I'm going to spread his word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all I can say is, I got a new attitude. Hey. Oh, hey. There you go. There you go. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a leper anymore. There's still some things I'm working on. Yeah. Yes. But I'm not a leper anymore. No, this is your season. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. It's my season. Yeah. It is my season. I've been in ministry, my God, since mm -hmm. 1980. Mm -hmm. Oof. Mm -hmm. Long time. Mm -hmm. And there are things that have not gone the way I thought that they should go mm -hmm. because it was my desire. Mm -hmm. But now when I let my desire go, and then I begin to take on his desire, mm -hmm. here we yes. go. Mm -hmm. Choo choo. Yeah. 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 Choo choo. The train has the left, train the has left the station. Yeah. I feel like the little train they could. Choo choo. Yeah. I can do it. I, I can do I can. it. I, I know, know I can. I know I can do yeah. it. Continue to trust in him, believe in him, him, and know that he is the master. Yeah. Have faith. Be ready. Have a spirit of expectation. Mm -hmm. Girl, yeah. it's happening. And then you will be made whole. Mm -hmm. In the process of being made whole, you got to be made whole just not today, mm -hmm. but tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, Something yes. might come up tomorrow. You got to it'll it'll come up because you know God is like that. He'll he'll bring yep. some garbage up mm -hmm. just so you can deal with it. Ooh. Ooh. Go ahead, girl. Because when you deal with your garbage, you help somebody else in their garbage. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. He has brought up to me about being molested. Now I'm mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. Back in the day, uh -huh. it wasn't considered molestation no. when you touched a child. Mm -hmm. But today, it's yeah. considered molestation. molestation. Mm -hmm. But he's brought that back to me where I have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I still need to forgive the guy who did it. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. I can remember sitting by his bedside and going, God, mm -hmm. will won't you just hurry up and make him die? I, I can't stand. You don't know what I'm talking about. Can't stand this. He's, he's, he's such a mean and nasty man. God, go on and take him. Mm -hmm. Take him away. Mm -hmm. Just take him away. But that has risen up in me, and so I have to. I have to work on that. Mm -hmm. And even in this whole uh, part of scripture, this. Perica, I was gonna say it, yeah, Perica. This Perica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -oh, it's in words. It's in words. Yeah, we were talking about we, that. We, we joke about yeah. that. Even in this block of scripture, mm -hmm. it's about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. You can't move forward unless you forgive. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it is. You got to forgive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It may hurt you to fix your lips to say, mm -hmm. I forgive you. Yeah. Oh, it might hurt 
down to the very, very depths of me. your soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, but yes. all you got to do is say, I forgive you. And forgiveness, I learned by, from Marilyn Hickey, forgiveness is by faith. Mm -hmm. It don't just happen today. Mm -hmm. When you say, I forgive you, it's a process. It's a process. Yeah, yeah it is. But you first got to recognize that you have to forgive. Mm -hmm. And once you forgive, then you can go on. You yeah. can stand to be around that person. Mm -hmm. You can stand to talk about what it was that hurt you so badly. You mm -hmm. can, because you've forgiven yeah. that individual or that per person. Mm -hmm. But just like that, God has forgiven us. Mm -hmm. Hey! Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes we haven't been all that we needed to be. Mm -hmm. Should have been. Mm -hmm. Could be. Mm -hmm. But God, in his infinite wisdom, mm -hmm. has forgiven us yeah. and has told us, go, mm -hmm. show yourself. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little something in there. Not show yourself to the priests. Yeah. Show yourself to the people. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Show yourself Talk to, to the, the people. people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let them know that you're not the same person that you thought <laughs> I was. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. I'm going to show myself to the people and let them go. See what a marvelous job God can do. Amen. He can do it. I know he can do it because he's done it through me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, Amen. forgive, mm -hmm. have faith, mm -hmm. be ready. Have a spirit of expectation. Mm -hmm. Listen for him daily, mm -hmm. hourly, because mm -hmm. he does speak. Yes, he does. And yes, he does. Being made whole, I don't know what you feel, but mm -hmm. it is necessary. Yes. Amen. It's, ne oh. <laughs> it's necessary. Because yeah. you, can't, you can't minister to somebody being broken. No. No. Mm -mm. And, 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 I think of the secretary of our ministry. She is taking up uh, counseling, spiritual, spiritual counseling. You're good. Mm -hmm. Girl, you better hold on. Yeah. Spiritual you counseling. You got this. Mm -hmm. you better hold I'm on. waiting for a, mm -hmm. did I get it right? You're taking up spiritual counseling. You got this. Mm -hmm. You are going to mm -hmm. take people mm -hmm. from where they are. Mm -hmm. To where they need to be. Oh, girl. Mm. I don't care where you think you are right now. <laughs> it's in you Whoop. to do. And this is the sisterhood that we have. The secretary oh. of oh. Harvest Global Ministry is sitting back in the back of the church. Yeah. The oh. vice president just walked back to be with her. And my treasurer is in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. Yes. But we're a sisterhood and we have to stand together. Oh. This isn't part of the sermon, no, but bless God. In the house. Out now. We have to stand together and know that God is able. Hallelujah. No matter what we've been through, no matter what we're going through, Hallelujah. God is able. Yeah. And so I'm looking forward to her in the ministry, in Harvest Global Ministry yeah. International, Inc. Yeah. I'm waiting for her to be able to counsel people on the phone, in ministry, yeah. in a, 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 a conference, yeah. to have a spot over here yeah. where you need to be Come healed. On. Go over to the corner yeah. and talk with Sister Jennifer. Yeah. She's got something to tell you. Yeah, she can heal you. Know. you. I, I just, I just, I just now see it, yeah. and I'm ready. Hey, oh, I'm ready. This was supposed to happen. To hey, you. hey, 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 Lord, it's supposed to happen. Hey, hey, thank you, thank Sister Jennifer. I don't, I don't, I don't really know, cause we don't talk a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what you've been going through. Mm -hmm. All I know is, if you want to. You can continue to go through. Mm -hmm. It's gone through. Mm -hmm. And when you go through, you knock this over, and you knock that over, and you push that around. It's like a, I'm getting a vision of a, 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 a bulldozer. When something is in the way of a bulldozer, mm -hmm. and they have that little shovel down at the bottom, yeah. and they drop it down on the ground, and 
the man puts it in gear. Mm -hmm. Whatever's in the front, mm -hmm. it'll get scooped or yeah. pushed yeah. or knocked on out the way. Yeah. Sister Jennifer, mm -hmm. you got some knocking to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got some knocking to do. Mm -hmm. You are a vital part of our sisterhood. Mm -hmm. So you can't let go. Mm -hmm. Sister Tammy, a vital part of the sisterhood. We can't let go. And Sister Lisa, Miss Sneaky, who didn't, who didn't commit, and I understand because she had other commitments, she's still part of the Amen. sisterhood. Amen. So don't think just because you're not holding an office that you, I already said Pastor Tammy, I already got her. She know, she know what she's supposed to do. But Lisa, Sister Lisa, because of your other, your other assignments, but you still, I asked you, what did I ask you to do when you said you couldn't? I said, what did I ask you to do instead of being on the ministry? What did I ask you to do? Do you remember? Um, basically, your spiritual mentor. Mm -hmm. Spiritual advisor. Mm -hmm. To pray for us. Absolutely. And I met these women all through my brother. Mm -hmm. And... I didn't mean that. Didn't. No, mm -hmm. this is this is what this is why the Lord spoke yeah. that to me. Yeah. Was, mm -hmm. Ooh, God is more than able. Mm -hmm. Because all of us, the us four women, have been through miracle. Also in yeah. the Keysport, have been through yes. some things where we've been made to feel like we were lepers. Yeah. That there was no good thing in us. Mm -hmm. But now is the time that God said, arise. Yeah. Go show yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Being made whole yeah. is necessary. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. This was supposed to happen today. Yes.